Good morning from the Cenotaph in a very misty Whitehall. And what a morning it is going to be. 9,750 veterans. That's how many are expected to take part in the March Pass today. One of the biggest that we have seen in many years. And also the public. 10,000 people are expected to gather here in Whitehall. They're arriving now. Many of them have been waiting since 7 o'clock this morning to make sure that they can be here to take their places and watch the march past. Well, I'm joined by a man who has been here many times and will be marching again today, Terry Bullingham, who is marching with Blind Veterans UK. And Terry, lovely to see you. It's particularly nice poignant you. for you, isn't it? Because it is the 40th anniversary of the Falklands War in which you served. Yes. And I was on the HMS Antrim, County Class Destroyer, looking after Humphrey, the embarked anti-submarine helicopter. And we were in San Carlos water, 21st of May, protecting, protecting Camber as he's starting to disembark the troops. And we had uh, four Skyhawks did a low pass over us, bombed us, but they, they didn't go off, thank goodness. And at the same time, preoccupied we're on the flight deck, two Argentinian Mirage fighters came down, probably 500 knots, 50 feet, incredible sort of speed. And the last thing I actually saw was a star on the side of them and, uh, and the cannon show in the water pointing at me. And I got uh, shrapnel in my eyes and i totally black blind ever since. What does it mean to you to be here today? It's an absolute privilege. The atmosphere and the, that we, of course, you know, viewers aren't going to pick that up, but, but to actually be here is a privilege and hear the, hear the Big Ben strike at 11. Wonderful. And I think of lots of people from the Falklands and from uh, uh, um, Afghanistan and uh, Iraq, but mainly from the Falklands, Fleet Iron people. HMS Glamorgan, which was our sister ship, took her exit set in the hangar uh, to, uh, on the 12th of June, just before the end. And I lost six good friends there. And there were other Fleet Iron people who died. And I met people from two para, three para, uh, really involved. And, and we had a comradeship, is, yeah. You come back here year after year, don't you? I think mm. more than 30 years you have, have come, but particularly important to be here this year. Yes, yes. Well, I march with the, with the uh, Blind Veterans contingent. I'm proud to march with them. They, give me, they gave me my life back, back in 1982, taught me to read, braille, taught me to type. Men didn't type back in 1982, and uh, taught me to get around with a long cane. And uh, without that training, I'd have been up the creek without a paddle. So I'm always grateful to them. Terry Bullingham, thank you so much for talking to thank us this you, morning. Sophie. Thank you very much. Thank you.